It's all right. <laughs> what guy will ask me now? I'll ask you. <laughs> That's so funny. What is up guys? It's Ava and today I am super excited because I feel like this intro is going to be the one that works out. Or not maybe not if you guys follow me on Twitter you guys know that this intro has been filmed five times but the first four times my camera decided to die and delete my footage and then the fifth time my tooth decided to start bleeding on camera but anyways, hopefully this video is now on YouTube. Today's video is a prom video. I'm going to be showing you guys 10 things that you need to know before prom. And this video is a collab video with Alicia and Mia and Nikki and Gabby. So be sure after this video to go and watch all of their videos. They are hilarious. They're off the chain. Prom is a stressful time. I know my senior prom especially, I was so stressed out because they felt like everything needed to be so perfect. But the thing is, stressing about stuff only makes it a thousand times worse. Today I'm going to give you guys 10 tips that I wish I knew during prom that will definitely help you guys out. Whether your prom is in 10 years, 2 years, next week, this video will help you. And if you don't have a prom that you're going to go to, it's still going to give you some awesome tips. So yeah, without further ado, give this video a thumbs up if you like wearing pretty dresses and dancing. And without further ado, hopefully my tooth isn't bleeding right now, let's get started. So the first step to prom is finding a date, finding who you're going to roll up with, you know, your squad. And it doesn't have to be a boy, it could be your best friend. Also, you don't have to wait for somebody else to ask you. So my first tip is to ask someone yourself. So if you're asking a boy, I think this is perfect because boys love food. You'll want a piece of this at prom. It's so affordable and what guy would say no to pizza? What's all this? Do you trust me? Uh... See, the thing is, Ava, I've already asked Valerie. Valerie? I guess I'll see you in... <laughs> okay. Thanks for the pizza, though. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow in class. What guy will ask me to prom now? I'll ask you. <laughs> what guy will ask me to prom now? <laughs> okay, if the love of your life said no to pizza, then this is the perfect way to ask your best friend. Your best friend doesn't need an elaborate prom asking, so I recommend getting her a Starbucks and having them write something super cute on it, something like, because Harry Styles couldn't take you to prom, I'll take you. Or something like that. Will you go to prom with me? Oh, that's so sweet, but well, Jeremy's already taking me. Well, he doesn't know it yet, but I feel it. I feel it happening. He's gonna ask me. I think he's gonna ask me tomorrow, actually. I'm not sure, but yeah, he's taking me. Alicia, Jeremy's not gonna ask you. Yeah, he is. He asked Valerie last night. I was there. <laughs> it's alright. Fine. Buy me a corsage and I'm totally in. Yay, prom buddies! After you've found yourself a prom date, the next step is to get toned. And this doesn't mean lose any weight. You guys don't need to lose any weight. You just want to make sure that you're healthy and looking nice. So the perfect way to look nice is to tone your body, which could be done really quickly. Weight loss is, you know, kind of a long-term thing, but toning... All you have to do is a few simple toning workouts and you'll automatically look awesome. So I like to do push-ups for my arms, Gabby likes to do squats, I like to do planks, and Nikki also likes to do these really cool leg lifts. 
While you're toning yourself, something you're going to want to work on is picking a dress and picking a dress as soon as possible so that all the good styles don't get taken. And go with a friend. You don't want to do this alone. Your friend will tell you if she loves it or if she hates it and if it looks good on you or not. I thought this dress was super cute, but Alicia was like, nah, you can find something better. Picking out dresses with your friends is not only fun, but really helpful. Don't spend too much on the dress, you will literally only wear it once. I actually got my prom dress from the Goodwill, and it was literally brand spanking new, and it was like probably $400 originally. Also, while you're looking for a prom dress, I would highly recommend going to thrift stores or shopping online at like Poshmark or something because you don't want to go to a typical store where everyone is going to have the same dress. Now tip number four is to save on your shoes and clutch. Your shoes are probably going to be taken off during prom because no one dances in their heels and your clutch will be sitting at a table the whole night. So. I would go a little bit cheaper on that, maybe thrift those as well. Tip number five is to find your perfect angles for your face and for your selfies and for your pictures because you'll be taking a lot of them and if you're not the type of person to take photos of yourself every day, which I actually am not, believe it or not, then you may not know what faces look good on your face. You don't want to have awkward photos to look back on. I mean, it's inevitable because I definitely have some ugly prom photos, but it's nice to know what you look great doing on camera so you're ready when all your friends are like, hey, selfie. Tip number six is to plan your look ahead of time. I like to go on Pinterest and browse prom photos and I like to print them out as well so I can hang them around my room on an inspiration board. For when I'm getting ready. I also like to look at YouTube tutorials and dress pictures to kind of just get inspired and I think it's really important to try out your makeup look beforehand just so that you can make sure that you can do it, take a picture of your look, and then recreate it. I get so stressed out during prom so I will often go overboard on my makeup and this is a really great way of not doing that. Speaking of makeup, I have some getting ready tips for you guys. So the first one is to completely avoid SPF foundation over SPF 20. Anything over that will make your face turn white in photos and ghostly. You don't want that. Tip number seven is to contour your face. Learn how to do it on YouTube. It is so easy, but contouring makes such a big difference. It's going to make your face look dimensional in all the right ways. Also, highlighter helps too. Lift those cheekbones up. Now tip number eight is do not go straight for the black eyeshadow. I made that mistake. You're going to want to start off with the neutrals and then work your way up. So I like to start off by doing my crease color just so I have a very good kind of layout on my eyes. And then I go in with a shimmery color on the inner corners. And this is going to really sparkle my eyes in pictures. And after I do that, I can choose to add on darker colors on the outer corners. And then I go a little bit underneath the eyes and just kind of keep darkening up the outer corners until I have what I'm looking for. Also, another tip is putting white eyeshadow or white liner in the inner corners of your eye. It's going to make your eyes look so much bigger. My grandma actually taught me that tip, so thanks grandma, prom 2013. And then for your lips, add some liner. If you have small lips, you know, that Kylie Jenner issue, line your lips. You don't have to overline, but it's definitely going to make a huge difference. And also matte lips look great on camera because flash photography and shiny lip gloss does not look good. Just remember that prom. So this is the final look. I think it's so natural, it's easy, and it's foolproof. You will not look back on photos and hate yourself. So the night before prom, I think it would be really fun to have a spa night with your friends, do some face masks, put on a candle, and bump some music and, you know, read some magazines. This is so much fun. It takes so much stress off of you to wake up in the morning with all of your friends and laugh together. I never got to do a prom sleepover, but I did sleepovers for other dances and it helped so much to take stress off. Hold up, wait a minute. All good, just a week.
week ago. Crew at my house and we party every weekend. So Tip number nine is to get your nails done or paint them yourself the night before. If you get your nails done a week before or even three days, they're probably going to chip or at least look kind of dull. So you're going to want to get them done and have them fresh for prom the night before. And finally, tip number 10, don't stress. You're prom can be stressful. Trust me, I remember being in the bathroom right before I left when my date got here and my makeup wasn't done and I looked so weird. I did not know what I was doing and I was freaking out. But in the end, looking back on pictures of my prom, I loved it. Prom is so hyped up in movies and trust me, it's kind of like 50% like that. In itself, the whole night is kind of magical. I'm 20 and it's been a few years since I went to my senior prom. But looking back on my old photos, how awkward I was, how inexperienced I was with makeup and hair and all of that, it's actually so much fun to look back and see how much I've failed but in a good way, in a high school way, in a way that I was supposed to fail. Nothing has to be perfect. Hang out with your friends, laugh, take horribly funny pictures that you will all laugh at the next day and 20 years from now. And last but not least, put your hands on the floor and shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, I'm my life. Just kidding, you may not want to put your hands on the floor. You took a good girl and you told me you're so bad. Kiss the old thing goodbye, she's... So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some new stuff about prom. Hopefully this took a ton of stress off of you. And if it didn't, then go and watch, obviously, Alicia's, Mia's, and Nikki and Gabby's videos because it's gonna help you so much more. Preparing for prom can be difficult. It can be scary, stressful. You wanna look perfect, trust me, I understand. I wanted to look perfect. I didn't look perfect. <laughs> in the end, just remember that no matter what you do, no matter what happens in life, not even just prom, everything comes together and everything works itself out. So yeah, that is it for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get this video to 100,000 likes. You guys have been killing it recently on the likes. My high school versus child you got like 300,000 likes. I don't understand it, but you guys are awesome. You guys rock. Like that was insane. I'm still freaking out. Be sure to go and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and go and subscribe to my collab partners because they are thebomb.com and I love them and I know you guys will love them too. Their videos will be linked down below so click on them right now. That is it for this video. I love you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I haven't shaved. <laughs> this is a normal girl right here though. Normal girls don't shave every day. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. I love you. That's my attention, baby. Go do what you do. Official notice. Now you gon' have to make a move. All this ice in my rolling, no wonder I play it cool. Ain't no I in team, but I got my eyes on you. I watch it bounce. With